Iowa. This is I Go Travel with the Don Barnett. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing this pirate hat for a reason. Uh, we, we're going to talk about the, the Spanish, uh, early Spanish side of Panama City. Uh, we uh, have made a travelogue or two on the modern part with all of those big skyscrapers and, and the canal and things like that. But uh, there's a long history here and it was started with the Spanish. So uh, we'll uh, take a look at uh, one of the great uh, tourist areas, the old Spanish Quarter. And then later on in the travelogue, we'll go back to the original Spanish uh, settlement and, and see what's what little bit is left there, because it was destroyed by the pirates. Hence, my pirate hat. Okay, let's go take a look at Panama City, the old Spanish Quarter. We are looking at Panama City in the order of uh, one, two, and three here. Uh, we've already made a uh, travelogue or, or two on the canal and the modern Panama City with all of those big skyscrapers and the modern... Uh, part there. And uh, in this travelogue, we'll do number two and number three. Uh, number two is uh, uh, the old uh, quarter uh, in Panama City. It's a great tourist area. And it was built there because number three in yellow there, the original uh, Spanish settlement, was totally destroyed by the pirates. And uh, when it was destroyed, they eventually rebuilt it over at the old Spanish Quarter that has become the great tourist attraction place uh, that it is today. In Panama City, there is a place you don't want to miss, and that is the old quarter, the historic district, sometimes called San Felipe. It is called Casco Viejo. Both it and the original settlement uh, are designed or designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You can see the remains of the fortress uh, wall built for protection against potential invasions uh, by either uh, the British or by pirates. It is uh, just uh, down the coast a ways from the skyscraper district. The area includes the uh, presidential residence, national theater, historic churches, and the Panama Canal Museum. Uh, the main uh, town square is the Plaza de la Independencia, where Panama declared independence from Colombia in the year 1903. Uh, the streets are unique. Uh, uh, they, are they are historic. They're narrow and crowded uh, with tourists at times. Uh, but it is uh, second only to the canal as the busiest attraction in Panama City. It is a, a colonial era haven for uh, places like cocktail, cocktail lounges, uh, rooftop bars, uh, wall murals, uh, old cathedrals, uh, and waterfront shops. It is a walk through the historic Spanish era. Uh, the original Spanish settlement was built over there by the uh, closer to where the skyscraper area is at today. But after the pirates destroyed it, uh, the, uh, the Spanish rebuilt the new community here at Casco Viejo. I'll uh, show you just a few more pictures uh, of the old uh, historic district. It's a great place to shop and dine and uh, uh, walk around. Uh, Casco Viejo is a place where the tourists hang out. Not far from the uh, skyscraper district is the old original settlement established by the Spanish. And uh, as I was telling you earlier, it was eventually, after 150 years, it was totally destroyed by pirates. Hence, the old pirate hat I'm wearing. But let's take a look at uh, the old original settlement. Not much remains of the original Spanish settlement. Uh, you can climb the inside stairs of a remaining church tower. It is the uh, story of the English pirate or uh, privateer, uh, Captain Henry Morgan, uh, the most famous of all pirates, uh, and who showed no mercy whatsoever to those uh, he victimized, uh, murdered, raped, and uh, sold off as slaves, uh, never to see their Panama homeland or families again. Uh, th today there's a popular rum 
drink today uh, that is called uh, Captain Morgan Rum. The original Spanish uh, city, uh, which was the first uh, European uh, settlement on the Pacific coast, uh, thrived for 150 years as a key in the Spanish gold route from Peru to Spain. The uh, first uh, Panama City survived a lot of things. It survived a slave rebellion, uh, Indian attacks, a fire, and earthquake. But it did not survive Captain Morgan and his 1,500 to 2,000 pirates. Founded in 1519, the pirates destroyed uh, Panama City in 1671. It was never rebuilt here but was moved seven kilometers down the coast and rebuilt uh, on a peninsula with a protective wall. Today, that place is the touristy historic district uh, that we uh, earlier visited in this travelogue. T today, there is a uh, world circuit of tall ships modeled after many uh, Spanish vessels of this era. Uh, take a look uh, at them as I tell you uh, about Captain Morgan's uh, pillaging and destruction of the first Panama City. Uh, look in the top right hand in the yellow part uh, where it says a pirate is uh, referred to as a bandit who uses a boat and water. Uh, the Englishman uh, Captain Morgan was a special kind of pirate, often referred to as a privateer, uh, who owned his own armed ships and was encouraged and even supported uh, to rob, plunder, and raid ships and settlements of a rival country, namely uh, Spain in the case of Captain Morgan. In effect, Captain Morgan, uh, the privateer, had a private contract uh, with the King of England to act on behalf of England against Spain. Uh, Captain Morgan was no ordinary pirate. He possessed military smarts, like uh, don't foolishly attack a fortified Spanish military base. And another one, uh, don't enlist local Indian groups into your army. He followed other rules too, uh, like uh, hit your target uh, quickly, uh, exercise the element of surprise, never share power between your commanders, and above all, show no mercy whatsoever toward your victims. Panama City was on the Pacific side and the Spanish always expected uh, any attack to come from ships in the Pacific. Captain Morgan knew this, so he uh, moved his uh, heavily armed uh, 1,500 to 2,000 uh, man army onto the Atlantic side, uh, then trekked overland and surprised the Spanish by coming from the land side of their community. Uh, they uh, panicked and dashed out, unorganized, to confront the pirates on land. Captain uh, Morgan's army destroyed them. A large munitions warehouse exploded, killing many. Captain uh, Morgan's pirate army pillaged and killed, uh, destroying the city and carrying off many uh, of the survivors, uh, which were uh, sold into slavery throughout the islands of the Caribbean. Captain uh, Morgan might have been remembered as one of uh, Britain's greatest heroes. However, one of his pirates was a writer, and he wrote a book on Morgan's uh, ruthless tactics, and uh, therefore British historians cooled to the idea that Captain Morgan was uh, an unsung hero. Uh, shortly before uh, Captain Morgan's attack on Panama, uh, both uh, Spain and Britain had just earlier signed a peace treaty. Spain was enraged at Henry Morgan's uh, attack on Panama and threatened war. Uh, to appease the more powerful Spanish, England agreed to imprison Captain Morgan in London, and peace was achieved. Uh, Spain's anger subsided. Uh, within a year, however, the English monarch released Captain Morgan, brought him to the palace, 
and honored him with, the, with knighthood, the highest honor possible. And now, as a knight, and now called Sir Henry Morgan, uh, he was uh, sent back to Jamaica, served as governor, and uh, became a wealthy plantation owner with over 130 slaves, and uh, lived uh, out his remaining years in his beloved Jamaica. Well, I guess we can be thankful that we uh, don't have uh, too many pirates around these days. Uh, if you uh, like the uh, show, uh, if you would uh, hit the subscribe button, it just tells you when we're bringing more uh, uh, travelogues. Uh, and uh, it helps us, enables us to uh, get on the internet and bring these travelogues to you. And uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll, uh, we're going to make a few more uh, travelogues about Panama. There's a lot to see here. And uh, from the old pirate, I'm saying, adios. Adios. <laughs>